Welcome to this short introductory video about Dan Siegel's Hand Model of the Brain which explains survival behaviour from healthy possibilities. If you hold your arm upright with your thumb folded in underneath your fingers in a fist, the arm represents your spinal column and your wrist is the brain stem whilst your thumb is the emotional parts of your brain and the fingers represent the thinking cap of your brain. The primal reptile brain is hidden underneath. When the emotions and thinking cap are connected, your brain is in optimal learning mode. However, in this position where your hand is wide open, the palm, the ancient part of your brain, the reptile brain, your survival instinct, is the only part connected to your brain stem. So that is what is in control. When your reptile brain is in control, your survival instinct is in control. Our reptile primal brain keeps us alive. It makes sure we survive by engaging in survival behaviours. These are flop, drop, freeze, flight and fight. When your hand is in this position with your thumb touching the palm, the thumb is connected to your brain stem. And our thumb here is representing our amygdala and hippocampus, the emotional parts of our brain. It's working and in control. The, the thinking cap of the brain and the mindfulness part are not connected to the brain stem, so they're not able to work. The emotions are in control. Unless we bring the thinking cap of the brain back down, it is likely that we'll go into survival mode and our reptile brain will take over. Engaging in interoception activities, focusing on an aspect of our internal self, re-engages the thinking cap and the mindfulness parts of our brain and helps us to manage our emotions.